Do you ever wonder what it would be like to move far away from it all? Having your problems magically disappear. Can you really escape from reality? I've had this belief that if I just move to another country, I'll be happier and better in general. Now I can't say that's entirely false. Sometimes a change of scenery is what's needed. If it's one thing, then no problem. What if it's a swarm of the kids? I have to be really quiet because I'm I am the tourist and I, I don't care. Tourist. I'm going to embrace I'll it. I'll own it. Yeah, they're not going to see us. We're not going to be here forever. We'll, we'll be gone in a month. So yeah. Don't forget about us. Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> which is ham and cheese. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but I really wish I just learned Italian because that would be so cool. I was too lazy too. Why should we just go to McDonald's and just get chicken nuggets? You don't know, it could be different. I have a banana milkshake. Did you do your makeup? No, I didn't. I don't think I will. It's raining. It is lighter. I like had something in my teeth, why didn't you tell me? Yeah, I do. Yeah, like right <laughs> <laughs> And there's 
angle you can see it. I'm like. <laughs> Can you believe it? A sunset at 9 p.m. You two, I'm gonna pass out. So I just applied this Claudier face mask because my face has just been feeling rough. Now I'm gonna go in with their serum as well as a moisturizer. It's really important when traveling to always keep your face moisturized, especially for me. My face has just been all over the place and I don't know how to fix it because usually it'll clear up, but it doesn't look too good. That's all. My skin is just already bad. And I put on makeup to cover it, which I probably shouldn't. Do you see these two? Like, ugh. I'm basically doing my everyday makeup routine, except what I'm incorporating in this look is more creams and then powders to make sure it stays on throughout the day. I'm already impressed with this Shiseido Lash Curler, and I've been using it for a while now. But this trip proved to me how much I love it because it keeps my lashes curled all throughout the day. I'm in love with the apartment I'm staying at. The view is amazing. It's funny to see neighbors right across from me. I've always seen that in movies and now I can experience it. I love people watching and this is just perfect for me. I love seeing shop owners open their shops downstairs, seeing cars pass by, people going to work or just walking in general. So I have like really bad mosquito bites. Please ignore that. I don't know what to do. You can't avoid them. You really can't. If you are curious on what my plan is, Guys, pigeons scare me. Or like, they don't scare me, I don't mind them, but like, the more I look at them, the more scared I get. The playlist I listen to in the morning, and honestly, this whole trip is just Mamma Mia. I know it's like, based in Greece, but it's the same vibe. Adding cream and then setting it later just makes your makeup last longer throughout the day, compared to just adding powder. That was my mistake the first day, and my makeup just washed away by the end of the day, or not even the end of the day, like in the middle of the day. Today, we're planning to take pictures at that famous photo booth, and I hope I really get good pictures. I hope I really do, because that's all I came here for, honestly. Not really, but you get the point. And it's working now. A few days ago, or when we got here, it wasn't working, and now we see a lot of people going up to it, so we have to try it before it runs out of film. I don't think it's even, but you know what? That's fine. Going into my trip, I had no plans to interact with anyone. I was just happy to be in Italy. Early on, I had a situation occur where it was very similar to a high school experience of mine. I was afraid history would repeat itself. And it doesn't help that you're completely alone in a foreign country. 
Luckily, I was able to pull myself together and remind myself that I am not the same person as I was a few years ago. I know better to put myself first now. I'm a huge people pleaser, but I learned the first week of being in Italy. I cannot please everyone and I do not want to please everyone. I know my boundaries and I'm not going to change them just to satisfy you. Yes, I want to have fun on my own terms and when I decide I want to. Don't let people guilt trip you into thinking you're wrong for prioritizing yourself. Let me ask you this. What is so wrong about prioritizing yourself? If I say no to something, it means I don't want to, or it means I'm uncomfortable. Can't you respect that? And if they can't, do not surround yourself with others who can't respect you. Okay, this lighting is so bad, ignore that. But I really wanted to do a recap on how I've just been feeling on this trip. I don't think I've like said anything about it. I've just been vlogging everything that I see and all that. I think for me, I honestly do not want to cry right now. This is not a therapy session, but maybe it is because I have no one to talk to right now. I don't know if this is an introvert thing or just in general. I just need time for myself to recharge and gain energy. But because every single day like I'm out and about and like I have a roommate with me, it's just really exhausting because I just need time for myself. But at the same time, I want to go out. But I also don't know how to talk to people or I do know how to talk to people. But it's like, it doesn't look like they're like, they want to really talk to me or like we're like not close that way. Or like we are close that way, but we're not that close that way. It's like they already formed their group. So like they know like, tea about them and their inside jokes and then I'm just there especially since I'm in Italy it just feels way more lonely um <laughs> I don't want to cry it's not that sad I just I really just want to have a connection with someone and just I just want to have fun and I and I feel like I am it depends on how I treat it I guess I'm just upset that everybody else is in the center of Florence and like they're so close to each other so they could just like all hang out all at the same time but I'm on the other side if I wanted to hang out with them or if they wanted to hang out with me we would have to make plans because like it's a far walk I mean even if I speed walk it's still a lot I, I need to catch my breath but yeah that's just how i've been feeling lately my roommate is out this weekend so i have the weekend to myself i really want to throw the trash away but i just took a shower and no one here I've never seen anyone here go out with wet hair or pajamas. And I know like the trash can is just right there, but I, I can't do that. I can't do that. I think I'm just gonna make eggs and ham and bread for breakfast. That's literally all we eat, so. There's a bar or a cafe down the street where I live. Is that my laundry? Give me a second. I think I did something wrong to my laundry because I accidentally put 40 like C and I was supposed to press this. The guy said I press this and I did it and I don't know how to stop it. Or it stops but I can't open it. So it's fine, right? It's fine. Is that fine? It's just warm water. So oh my gosh, I hope my clothes don't shrink. I really want to eat at the cafe right across the street from my apartment but I just look like this no one in Europe goes out like this <laughs> like I can I can but I don't want to so we're just gonna stick with bacon or eggs and ham I really want a cappuccino but I'll just get one later last night when I came home I watched a new k-drama called King the Land I've been excited for this k-drama I'm only on episode one there's only one episode so I'm almost done I have to wait for episode two. Hermes? A few days ago, I was walking back to my apartment. I saw this cute little tea place where they sell tea, dessert. It looks like a tea party and I want to go. So I invited my friend Paola over and she's inviting her roommate. So I'm really excited because I just, I just want to feel like I'm in a tea party. You know, I've always wanted to go to a tea party. No one's ever invited me rude but now i'm gonna go 
Yesterday was my first time going on a train and that was just such a wonderful experience, especially going to Rome. I sat next to this lady. I got a biscuit from the vending machine and I had one more so I decided to share it with her because I really wanted to like start a conversation. She was so lovely and sweet. It was such a lovely conversation. I just love talking to strangers and hearing their stories. I know we're not supposed to talk to strangers. Like you know who to talk to and who not to talk to. When we were getting off the plane, she was like, go oh, take care, have a lovely trip, enjoy all this freedom because I'm studying abroad and I was just like, thank you, you too, like have safe travels. And then when I was at a gift shop in Rome, there was two cashiers and they were speaking Italian. So I obviously didn't understand. And then one of them translated to me. They're like, oh, you're like really beautiful, so beautiful. And I was like, oh, thank you. And then I had to come back again because I had to buy a drink and they just like both smiled at me and said so beautiful and I was like, thank you <laughs> That just made my day yesterday I'm gonna be honest. I know that studying abroad seems so fun and it is fun But at the same time, it's also so overwhelming. It's my second week here and I've had a few panic attacks every now and then or there was just times where I would just cry because I just have to let it out. If I don't let it out, it's just gonna keep bottling up. I would say that I'm getting better at people pleasing and the fear of FOMO, but because I'm studying abroad alone, obviously I wanna be with everyone so I don't feel alone. I don't know what it is about me, but I'm an introvert, but I also crave deeper connections with people. And I know I can't get that with everyone. And I think that's why it's bothering me. And that's where the people pleasing comes in, all that and the fear of missing out and just, yeah, it's a lot, but I'm getting through it each day at a time. <laughs> because it's hot and it's summertime, I make sure I double up with cream and then powder. So those two steps are just very important, especially with your face makeup. My face has just not been looking too well. I have a filter on this camera, so you can't really tell, but just trust me when I say it's bad. Throughout this whole trip, I've been using my roommate's Charlotte Tilbury setting spray, and it just works wonders she's not here right now so i can't use it just know that that is also really good to keep your makeup lasting all day i'm staying in florence and the sephora here is so small in the train it is bigger but when we got back last night it was already closed so i couldn't shop you can't even see it but this side like it's just like there's more pimples and i've never like broke out like this before mm. also i think my face got really tan yesterday because we were like out and about in the sun I really hope they're not there yet. I don't think so. They would text me if they are. Like something I've noticed when studying abroad is everyone's just moody, including myself. Because some people want to go here, some people want to go there. Everyone's jet lag and it's just so interesting to me. There will be like an hour where like we're all like all good and all that. And then like the next hour we're just exhausted and we just want to go home. I apply this on the temples of my cheek, nose bridge, and lips, and it just makes your skin look glowy and not in like the oily face glazed donut type of way, like the natural type of glow. I also- <gasps> Oh my gosh, there's like three. Okay, okay, they're on their way. Okay. <laughs> this is my favorite lip liner from Tower 28, and that's why I wanted to go to Sephora to buy a new one. Or maybe I could just get a pencil sharpener because I can't really like draw on it. I have to like do like a specific angle. But yeah, so they didn't have this, and this is my favorite lip liner, so... <laughs> I'm freaking out. Okay, it's gonna take them 10 minutes, so I have time. I have time. Also, I bought a curling iron from here because I did not want to, like, cause a power shortage in my apartment. I just don't feel myself when my hair isn't curled. And the curler is fine, but it could be better, but who am I to complain? I'm only gonna use it for, like, three weeks. <laughs> okay. I'm basically done. So, I'm gonna get dressed now. I wore this dress the other day, but I wanna wear it again because I feel like it fits the theme of tea parties. This one, it's cute. It's cute. I can try to change. I have no time to say or talk. I'm just gonna wear sneakers since I'm wearing this outfit just for the pictures. We're gonna come back, but this is the outfit. It looks 10 times more comfier with sneakers. It doesn't really match the outfit, but it works. I can't stop smiling because I've always just wanted to go to a tea party. We're having a tea party now. Can we get multiple types of teas? I don't know how these tea parties work. So you guys have no cash at all? I have like 20 euros. As long as we have like some type of cash. We go to a fancy place and we don't have cash. Because <laughs> I really thought you were going to get take card. I even brought it up by my own phone. But their internet's not working, so that's on them. Yeah. That's not on us. Let, let me check how much cash I have. You guys are not we're broke. We have money. money. We're broke with cash. Imagine I ask them, can you accept dollars? <laughs> we have dollars. Oh my god. 
I don't think we'll go over 130. You're a vegetarian? No. <laughs> I just don't. She I don't really like it. Having a tea party. Are you ready to order? Let's look at the London. Which tea do you recommend? Would you like something black or green? Green. For me, this is my first time being on my own and in a different country. I feel more anxious than ever. Everything is just so new to me. There were moments when I wanted to go home. I could not deal with it all. Everything that I was trying to avoid was already right in front of me. I really thought that I could escape from reality. But I wasn't going to allow myself to run away from new experiences. I had to change my perspective. Life should be about diverse experiences. Visiting unique places guarantees different encounters, some positive, some negative, but all incredibly valuable.